This video will demonstrate installation and configuration of Load Leveler version 411 on a 4 node cluster. On the Load Leveler product CD, you will find license RPMs as well as full product RPMs for the scheduler and resource manager. You'll need to first accept the license and install the full product before you can update Load Leveler to the latest service updates provided on the web. So let's install the license using RPM. Once this completes, we can run the install LL script provided to accept the license and install the full product RPMs. The dash Y option says yes to install it, to accepting the license and the dash D option points the script to the location of the RPMs. Now load level learns is installed on this node, you'll want to repeat this process to install Load Leveler on all the nodes in your cluster. By default, Load Leveler will look in the home directory of the LoadL user ID for the Load Leveler configuration files. If you do not want to place the configuration files in that location, you can create a file called loadl.cfg and place that in slash etc. This file must contain the keyword loadout config, which points to the loadout configuration file that you want to use. So let's switch to the loadout user ID to complete the configuration. So I'm going to copy over the load leveler configuration files from the samples directory to this directory to use as a starting point. So I'm going to copy over the loadout config file and also a loadout admin file. So let's take a look at the loadout config file first. In this file, I'm going to add a keyword, llrsh command, and set that to slash user slash bin slash ssh. This is because I have ssh keys set up. Second thing I want to change is the, the admin file keyword. I want to point that to the version that I want to use. The third thing I want to do is set the accounting on. This allows Load Leveler to save job accounting information. Next, let's look at the Loadout admin file. By default, we have a machine group set up here where start D runs here is set to true and sked D runs here is set to false. So let's create another machine group that contains the information for the four nodes that we want to have running. So in the machine list we'll define the four machines. I'm going to remove this adapter list keyword since we're not using that. And I'm going to define a central manager machine. I can remove this start D runs here equals false because I want it to run and it will pick up the default configuration value of true. Now I can start up load leveler on my four node cluster. We can use the command ll status to check the status of the cluster. 
So here you see that central manager is running on N01. We have SCEDD running on N01 and start D running on all four machines of the cluster.